Hello everybody, I am Kikanobi here again for another trailer reaction. This one is Mortal Kombat 1 official Banish trailer. And on the thumbnail, I see Reptile. Uh, he looks good. I'm excited to see what he's going to play as. I'm also excited to see what more story content comes from this, if anybody else is in the trailer. And hey, if you like this reaction and you like the videos I'm putting out and you want more from them, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. All of it helps add to the channel and help it grow. Yes, I am now doing the official YouTuber speech at the beginning of videos now. I'm committed to the bit. Ooh, already is an interesting beat. Oh my god, what the fuck is all that blood? Jesus. Earth Realmers aren't ready to see the real me. So how does it oh. work? You just shape shift in anything you want? I can oh, Johnny Cage in like this super armor. Natural form. Oh, that's genius! So he can be human and lizard. Oh, that's the perfect blend. Oh, regal wear. You misread my intentions, princess. You're a giant lizard man. All right, we got frost. Ew! Oh, that's weird. Oh my god, he looks like Amazing Spider-Man 2 lizard. Ashra. Oh shit. She doesn't have her hat. My sister demons were furious at my change of heart. Alright. She's got a sword combos. Ooh, she's got like an astral form too. She's kind of got like Fujin's uh, gameplay too a bit. The monks must prepare you. Scythos? What is Johnny Cage wearing? By choice or by force. Killing one is that free another is Havoc? One I won't let you fulfill. Oh my god, is this Chaos Realm? It looks fucked up. Whoa, 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 who's that demon? Wait, is that Havoc's uh, ability or is that a cameo? Who is that? Oh my god. Oh, it's a what's her name? Oh, uh, Serena. Oh, wow. Jesus! Oh my god! <laughs> They're out for you too, Sizoth. To catch me, they must see me. Oh, there. reptiles get in personality. This is weird. Oh, he's got the tail. Striker cameo. Melina. Oh my gosh, Shriker just shoots you a lot. <laughs> what? Is... Oh my god. Oh my god, he's just the lizard. Oh! Alright, uh, Astro, it's your turn. Dude, he just keeps ripping off his arm. He just does it for a joke. Uh, he does it for a bit now. Oh, man. Oh, Astra's got a Oh, she's an angel. Oh, she's doing, like, Archangel Blade moves. What the... Oh, that's a fatality. Okay. Take your chaos elsewhere. All right. Oh, lizard. What the fu... Oh, my... Oh! Burp out the skeleton. Oh, that's worse! That's worse! Oh, that's worse! That's worse! Oh, no! Oh, man! Okay. Oh, boy. Ooh, that was... Well, that was very... That was way more than I was expecting. Okay, Havoc, Ashra, Reptile. That's like all stages of like people who've been like we've been screaming to come back. They're all back. Okay, having reptile as both a human human and a lizard lizard, and you switch in between moves and he's just a complete shapeshifter. Genius because you have the diehard people who are like, 
reptile should look like a human who only has a few reptile bits. And then you have other people like me who are nerds who are like, I want reptile to look like a lizard person. So just have him be both. Oh, that's genius. Okay, and Havoc, I swear he ripped off his arm like seven times in this trail. He just could not stop ripping off his arm. He, that's crazy. Okay, uh, and Ashra, who all I really know about her is she's like a demon and she had like a big hat. So they got rid of the hat. It's probably going to be an unlockable costume or something. But she looks more like a demon instead of a normal person. So if she seems to be the story counterbalance to Havoc, uh, I'll have to go back through and listen to what like her lore and stuff is. But that's what it sounds like. Uh, let's rewatch this in slow-mo. Playback speed, 5%. There we go. All right, that is a incredible amount of blood. It, it's sanity levels. All right, who is that? Okay, so I think this is um, Kung Lao. What is this? This looks like special forces outfits. Okay, so we have Kenshi being, oh, he's blind and being led by Johnny Cage. There's Kung Lao, Reptile, and Baraka walking through the living forest that i could take human form made me a freak among my people oh so the rest of his lizard zatarans cannot turn into human so he is human no he is lizard man who can turn into human not human that can turn into lizard man if that makes sense. all right and here we have like a celebrate a ce celebration jesus say words right uh, I think that's Lee Mei in the back, Katana, Melina, and Royal Regal Wear. Uh, you know what? That's Kenshi in the background. So it seems like the Earth Realmers are uh, trying to approach like the Royal Edenians or Outworlders, but they're doing it in disguise. And I swear, this is giving me like Kotal Khan vibes. I don't know. He's got acid, uh, like run. Oh my god. Oh, and he can bring out his lizard attributes like he just brought out his claw right there. I appear nearly human because I've purged most evil from my soul. Okay, so she looks human, or at least she looks like, you know, mostly human from afar because she's purged herself of demonic energy. Okay. Okay, so she is a pure demon from the nether realm, and she seems to be on team good guy as well. Weird we're not seeing a lot of enemy, like, evil factions. So far, like, most of the rosters seem to be, like, good guys, or at least on the surface. Like, we have Sub-Zero, who is, like, halfway possibly bad. Uh, Rain, which is probably an antagonist. Actually, no, we saw Rain, but he could turn out bad. We know Havoc, Shang Tsung, um, there's rumor of General Shao Kahn. Baraka could be on the fence. I don't know. It seems like he might not be completely evil. Um, but yeah, not a huge, like, villain faction. Usually it's kind of even. I mean, Melina seems like she could go bad at any point in time. Yep, and we have Serena and Havoc. And Havoc straight up just has, like, Deadpool healing powers. Killing one realm to free another is a heinous proposition. One I won't let you fulfill. Hmm, okay, so killing one realm to save another. So Chaos Realm needs to like consume other realms, like how what Shao Kahn did with uh, Outworld and Edenia, maybe? Hmm. Alright. Oh my god, what the fuck did- what the hell did I just see? Havoc breaks his own neck. Why? Just for fun? Oh my god, he's gross. He just keeps tearing off his arm. Oh, and he's got the skeleton. But what the f Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that's a different arm at least. What the fuck is this guy? How is it? Oh my god, I, I get what he just did. He beats your face so hard that his own hands break. Look at this. He he punches you so hard that the bone is the only thing left 
what? Okay, either this dude is punching with inhuman super strength that just obliterates a human body, or this dude is made of tissue paper. Because the amount of times I've seen him get dissected by himself in like two two seconds. Look at that. Man, why do they make, like, Reptile look pretty? Oh, wait, that was Asher right there with the big hat. All right, and Reptiles. Oh, he's doing a crocodile death spin. An overhead Reptile. And he can half transform. That's cool. <laughs> he just fucking pulls out a gun with his neutral special. Havoc seems super interesting. I was kind of hoping that he would have his mace, but apparently his arm is the mace. He just uses that to beat you down. So he's like a zombie man. He, he's like a fully sentient kung fu zombie. It'll be interesting. I think she will probably end up getting, like, a good portion of the story. Because, like, we know what Reptile and Baraka and, like, what their ideal is. So, like, all we need is, like, a quick, hey, this is what they're like now. So, you know, they're a little different. Ashra and Havoc have not been visible in this new era of modern Netherrealm games. So, like... For a lot of people, these are like, who the fuck are these people? So you really need to... I think they're going to get a lot of story and uh, a lot of, uh, like, focus. Which should be pretty cool. Oh, that's nuts. You can see, like, the invisible jaws just reach around and grab them. It's a pretty good reptile design. Like, it, it's perfectly super crazy lizard man versus basic normal green ninja this roster is looking pretty good like this is a pretty goddamn cool looking roster uh i don't know how many spaces are left uh okay so havoc ashra reptile all that leaves is one two three four five and six six spots left on the roster uh and we also got what were our cameos? More cameo spots as well. So we're closely, we're, we're very close to closing out the roster. Now we could have like secret characters. We could have boss characters. We could have spoiler characters. Um, I mean, at this point, we still have no idea what the main story is, except Liu Kang made new world. New world got corrupted. Fix it fast. And it probably isn't going to end up perfectly fine. Um... So yeah, it, I'm, I'm very excited going into this because I'm looking at this roster and the only bad guys I initially see is Havoc. It, yeah, just Havoc. Rain seems like he could be bad, but he's also sitting and eating dinner with the uh, Edenian royalty in like previous trailers. Sub-Zero seems to be a dick, but like he could just be edgy. Um, Baraka seems to be a freedom fighter and with the crew. We have Geras, but he seems cool now. Melina, she could go nuts, but it could be remorseful. We have Shang Tsung, yeah, so he's a bad guy. Um, but beyond that, we don't have a lot. I mean, I we have seen Reiko, Motaro, we've also heard of General Shao Kahn. So, yeah, but the roster, like, unless we get some character spins and betrayals, I don't know, this could be a pretty interesting story, but that's all I have broken down. Yeah, I'll be here with more updates for the next trailers whenever they come out, and uh, yeah, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, bye-bye.